Welcome back to our channel. Today we're cracking open the vault of mugshots and handcuffs, because we're diving headfirst into the 10 celebrities who've danced with the law. We're ripping back the velvet curtain on the glamorous facades and exposing the scandalous arrests, the whispered secrets, and the brushes with the law that sent shockwaves through the Hollywood. Let's see together. Mickey Rourke, born on September 16, 1952, in Schenectady, New York, United States, started his acting career in the 1980s and quickly gained attention for his unique charisma and intense performances. Starring in films such as Nine and a Half Weeks and Barfly, Rourke showcased his talent and became a prominent figure in the industry. However, his personal life took a dark turn, leading to legal troubles. In 1994, Rourke was arrested for spousal abuse against his then-wife, Kari Otis. This incident resulted in a brief jail sentence and probation, causing a significant downturn in his career. Despite the setbacks, Rourke made a remarkable comeback in 2008 with the critically acclaimed film, The Wrestler, which earned him numerous accolades and an Academy Award nomination. Tom Sizemore, born on November 29, 1961, in Detroit, Michigan, United States, established himself as a talented actor in the 1980s, appearing in notable films like Born on the Fourth of July and True Romance. However, Sizemore's career was marred by his struggles with drug addiction, which led to a series of legal issues. In the early 2000s, he faced multiple arrests for drug possession, reflecting his battle with substance abuse. Additionally, Sizemore was convicted of domestic violence against his former girlfriend, Heidi Fleisch. These incidents had a detrimental impact on his professional trajectory, as he struggled to regain his previous level of success. Despite the challenges, Sizemore continues to work in the industry, striving to rebuild his career and maintain sobriety. Dennis Hopper, born on May 17, 1936, in Dodge City, Kansas, United States, was a versatile actor who made his mark in the 1960s and continued to captivate audiences through the 1980s. Known for his roles in films like Blue Velvet and Easy Rider, Hopper's career showcased his exceptional talent and artistic vision. However, during this period, he faced legal issues due to his battles with substance abuse. Hopper was arrested multiple times for drug possession and driving under the influence DUI. These incidents highlighted the darker aspects of his life but did not overshadow his contributions to the film industry. Despite his legal troubles, Hopper managed to overcome his demons and continued to act, leaving behind a significant legacy before his passing in 2010. His artistic achievements and unique presence on screen continue to inspire aspiring actors and filmmakers. Charlie Sheen, born on September 3, 1965, in New York City, New York, United States, hails from a renowned acting family. Making his mark in the 1980s, Sheen gained recognition for his roles in films like Platoon and Wall Street. However, his life has been fraught with legal troubles and public controversies. In 1996, Sheen was arrested for assaulting his then-girlfriend, Brittany Ashland, which tarnished his public image. In 2009, he faced another highly publicized arrest, this time on charges of domestic violence against his third wife, Brooke Muller. Sheen's tumultuous personal life, combined with his battles with addiction and erratic behavior, have made headlines throughout his career. Despite the setbacks, Sheen remains a polarizing figure in popular culture, with his talent and turbulent personal life often overshadowing his accomplishments on screen. Christian Slater, born on August 18, 1969, in New York City, New York, United States, emerged as a talented actor in the 1980s, leaving a lasting impression with his roles in films like Heathers and Pump Up the Volume. However, Slater's path has been marked by personal struggles and occasional encounters with the law. In 1994, he faced an arrest for assaulting his then-girlfriend, Michelle Jonas. Slater pleaded no contest and received probation as a result. Throughout his career, Slater has wrestled with addiction which has contributed to further legal issues, including arrests for drunk driving. Despite these challenges, Slater's talent and on-screen charisma have continued to captivate audiences. He has diversified his career by exploring television and stage work, earning critical acclaim and maintaining a dedicated fanbase. Slater's journey serves as a testament to resilience and the power of artistic expression. Tim Robbins, born on October 16, 1958, in West Covina, California, United States. Established himself as a versatile actor in the 1980s, 
delivering memorable performances in films such as Bull Durham and The Shawshank Redemption. Robbins, known for his commitment to social and political causes, encountered a legal issue during an anti-apartheid protest at a South African embassy in Washington, D.C. in 1987. He was arrested on charges of trespassing and disorderly conduct. Despite this incident, Robbins has remained an influential figure in both the entertainment industry and activism. His talent as an actor, writer, and director has earned him critical acclaim, including an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for his role in Mystic River. Robbins continues to use his platform to advocate for social justice, demonstrating the power of art to inspire change. Eric Roberts, born on April 18, 1956, in Biloxi, Mississippi, United States, showcased his acting prowess in the 1980s through captivating performances in films like Runaway Train and Star 80. However, Roberts's personal journey has been intertwined with legal challenges. In 1987, he faced an arrest for cocaine possession, which prompted a period of rehabilitation and recovery. Despite these struggles, Roberts has exhibited resilience, rebuilding his career and reaffirming his commitment to his craft. He has portrayed a diverse array of characters across various mediums, including film, television, and theater. Roberts's talent and dedication have earned him critical acclaim, and he continues to be a respected figure in the industry. His contributions as an actor and his ability to overcome personal obstacles serve as a testament to his enduring passion for the craft and his determination to succeed. Amanda Bynes, Amanda Bynes, a former child actress, encountered legal issues during the late 2000s and early 2010s. In 2012, Bynes faced legal troubles when she was arrested for driving under the influence, leading to charges of hit and run and drug possession. These incidents marked a challenging period in her life, overshadowing her earlier successes as a talented comedic actress. Bynes showcased her comedic prowess in television shows like The Amanda Show and films like She's the Man. Despite her legal troubles, Bynes has expressed a desire to return to acting and has taken steps towards recovery. Her journey reminds us of the importance of seeking help and finding strength in overcoming personal struggles. Heather Locklear, Heather Locklear, a renowned television actress known for her roles in shows like Dynasty and Melrose Place, has had several encounters with the law. In 2008, Locklear faced legal troubles when she was arrested for suspicion of driving under the influence, resulting in charges of DUI. She has also encountered legal issues related to domestic violence incidents. Despite these challenges, Locklear's talent and contributions to the entertainment industry remain significant. She has left a lasting impact with her iconic portrayals of strong and complex female characters on television. Locklear's legal troubles serve as a reminder that personal struggles can affect anyone, regardless of their professional achievements. Reese Witherspoon, Reese Witherspoon, an accomplished actress and producer, experienced a rare misstep in 2013 when she was arrested for disorderly conduct and obstruction of a police officer. The incident occurred when her husband, Jim Toth, was pulled over for suspicion of driving under the influence. Witherspoon publicly apologized for her behavior, acknowledging her mistake. Despite this incident, Witherspoon's talent and dedication to her craft remain undeniable. She has delivered remarkable performances in films like Legally Blonde and Walk the Line, earning critical acclaim and accolades, including an Academy Award for Best Actress. Witherspoon's mistake serves as a reminder that even successful individuals can make errors in judgment. But it is the ability to learn from those mistakes and grow that truly defines a person. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe so you never miss a new video. I post new videos every day, so you'll always have something new to watch. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it, I hope you'll come back and watch more of my videos soon. Dot.